it's windy and we made it to the Snake River, the South Fork of the Snake, and behind us is the Palisades Dam. So uh, we're gonna fish uh, the right side all the way down and try and stay out of the wind if we can. The river's running on a little over 1100 CFS. 11,000 rather, I'm sorry. And it's, so it's, uh, it's moving pretty good. It's blowing pretty good, but it's still better than sitting in the motor home. So, uh, y'all ready? I am, I'm excited, new water for us. New water, so yeah, hopefully we won't get lost and we'll get out where we're <laughs> supposed to and we'll catch some uh, big cutthroats, that'd be awesome. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the ride over the next uh, 10 days because we're gonna be doing this for, for a while, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Anything? Just wish us luck. <laughs> we need luck. All right, we'll see you later down the river. Very nice cement boat ramp. Plenty of, plenty of access. Whoa, that's good, whoa. Linda just got herself a white fish. She's netting it. Yeah. Get that white fish. Well, we're getting close to the waterfalls down here. It's like noon and uh, we got to go to the left here and I'm going to swing the camera around so that uh, you can see the waterfalls along the river. So that would be pretty cool. I'm going to swing it out just a little. We'll turn the boat around. Yeah, pretty, pretty view. We'll come around this corner down here and you'll be able to see those waterfalls really good. Maybe Glendale will catch us a big old cutthroat down through here. Uh oh, uh oh. Alright, we got us a white fish.
Well, for all those videos that you all get to watch, there's a lot of stuff that goes on between the scenes. <laughs> like, trying to figure out a place to put all this stuff that we bought this year to fish the Missouri, and now to fish the, the South Fork of the Snake, and trying to figure out what to fish with in the South Fork of the Snake and in the Missouri. So that I can smile, or Glenda can smile, and we can hold up a big fish like this and just grip and grin. <laughs> There's a lot more to it, my friends. And these are just the one, two, three, four, five fly boxes that we carry that we try to work out of actively. And yeah, and stuff gets all jumbled up and then needs to be put away. And so here we are, instead of fishing, we're managing our household goods, our stores for fly fishing. Well, good morning. We're back on the South Fork at a snake, and the water is just awesome. It's beautiful. It's it's a sort of a green clear, and uh, Glenda's in the front of the boat, and uh, she's casting, and she's been throwing a pretty good fly today. Um, there's some. Caught anything, right? She hasn't caught anything yet. She says no white fish today, only cutthroat. So she's got to show them what you what you got tied on. So our friend Lemoyne Hyde who builds high drift boats, gave Glenda a fly that said it was one of his favorite flies. It's huge. And it's a um, salmon fly. And look at the size of that thing. My God, if something hits that, it might pull us down. I don't know, we'll see. But thanks, Lemoyne, for throwing us some extra flies and whatnot, we appreciate it. And Glenda says she's gonna catch a fish on that fly so she can tell you all about it. Anyway, we're gonna keep going down the river. I just wanted to stop for a minute and say hi. And uh, it's a beautiful day. It's about 11 o'clock. And here we go. Go down the South Fork of the Snake. Look at all that down there. Isn't that beautiful? That's all beautiful right. Day. Anything from you? That's beautiful. Day. Nothing from her. She wants a cutthroat. She wants a big cutthroat. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, we'll see you later down the river. Finally, my thought was cutthroat. How about that? Better put it back.
got a big one. Take a look at that guy. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's a big, big cutthroat. I don't know how big it is, but. I don't know. Wow. All right, are we gonna let him go or are you gonna hold him? Uh, no, I'm gonna let no, him go. No, let's not do it. Look how big.